Good morning, members. We welcome you all on the Sunday morning with the very important topics. One which is the recent changes in the GST and the second is the investor awareness program. The topic is how to become the successful trade, trader in the stock market. Before we start our today's sessions, we'll start with our Institute Motor Song. So we request all the members to please rise at the place. Thank you, members. <laughs> now to start with today's sessions, I look, I look, I would like to start the sessions by saying that by quoting on very important quote: "The life never gets better by chance, but always by the changes. And changes sometimes very painful, sometimes very beautiful, and sometimes it's both." And especially when we are discussing the GST topic and when we are into the indirect tax practice, we all know the day and day the changes they are coming up with. Now to start 
on the same topic today we have with us a very founder member our core group member our past convener an immediate past wsc chairman and our gem of our jaminagar cp study circle c a manish bhai gadia so we are welcome you with a round of applause <laughs> And now, without taking much more of time to introduce our today's eminent speaker, I would like to invite uh, our co-group member, past convener, C. Mahesh Ji Bagheria. So please introduce uh, the today's speaker formally, Mahesh Ji. A very good morning to all of you. Thank you, Convener sir, for giving me the opportunity to introduce my younger brother, Manish Ji Gadia. Friends, today Manish Ji's lecture is. So, see, first of all, it's houseful. No, we see that generally, it's a little bit of a hall. I've already started. नवनाथ से रिक्वेस्ट किया कि फर्दर चेयर और लगवा दे पहले से ही अरेंजमेंट कर दे पब्लिक खड़ी नहीं रहे <coughs> मैं आप लोगों से रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा कि आपके मोबाइल साइलेंट मोड पे डाल दें क्योंकि मनीष जी के इतने अचीवमेंट्स हैं तो कोई मिस नहीं हो जाए आप लोगों से सुनने के लिए बहुत अच्छा लगता है जब कोई अपना अपने घर का आदमी इतनी हाइट्स पे राइजन में पहुंचता है तो उसका इंट्रोडक्शन देना एक बहुत गर्व की बात होती है तो मनीष जी एक बहुत ही विजनरी लीडर हैं प्रोफेशनल तो हैं सिंस 1997 से प्रैक्टिस में हैं जीएमजे एंड कंपनी के पार्टनर हैं इंटायर जीएसटी के गैमेट ऑफ जीएमजे एंड कंपनी का देखते हैं और उनके जो अचीवमेंट मैं अभी बताऊंगा वो बुक्स रिसर्च पेपर पब्लिकेशन मुझे देख के बोलना पड़ रहा है क्योंकि इतनी सारी चीजें हैं मुझे बाई हार्ट नहीं है फिफ्टी परसेंट चीजें तो बाई हार्ट है इन्होंने इतने सारे पब्लिकेशन लिखे हैं को ऑथर किया है बुक स्टेटरी ऑब्लिगेशन ऑफ कोऑपरेटिव हाउसिंग सोसाइटी पब्लिश बाई डब्ल्यू आई आर सी एफ आई सी आई को ऑथर ऑफ हैंड बुक ऑन वैल्यूएशन एंड हैंड बुक ऑफ ई पी सी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बोथ पब्लिश बाई द चैम्बर ऑफ टैक्स कंसल्टेंट्स He is a regular contributor to WIRC Referencer, which every year we see, which comes on time. He is a regular contributor to GST Referencer, published by GSTPAM. He has contributed various articles on service tax in Income Tax Review Monthly Journal, published by CTC. He has compiled the budget booklet published by JB Nagar Study Circle WIRC for the year 2005 till 2020. to ibu so he has started all these things and this was the his achievements on various publications to aap dekhenge ki wrc hai ctc hai gst hai kaun se bhi forum mein jahan par bhi gst ka reference aata hai wahan par manish gadia ka naam aata hai academically wo gst se related rahe hain icai regional council branches of icai study circles chamber of tax consultants aiftv bca gst pm cgpi management institute institute of company secretaries indian navy trade associations and corporates sab mein ke lecture hue hain list bahut lambi hai i will cut it short manish ji his major achievements have been he is a immediate past chairman of wrc and was the one was the best loved wrc chairman he has attained leadership roles in past chairman of professional development committee of study circle coordination committee he has invited to express views on gst which is regularly telecasted on national tv as well as print media he has contributed for a special column in navbharat times jo hindi newspaper aata hai morning mein times of india ka 
आप देखते होंगे इसमें का इनका हमेशा क्वेरी जो जीएसटी की क्वेरी होती है वो एड्रेस करते हैं विच इज बेनिफिटिंग ऑल द प्रोफेशनल्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स एंड क्लाइंट्स एज वेल ज रिप्रेजेंटेड बिफोर कमिश्नर ऑफ सेल्स टैक्स महाराष्ट्र वो तो सब है ही मेंबर ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर कमेटी कमेटी फॉर कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग ऑफ सी ए फॉर्म एंड स्मॉल एंड मीडियम प्रैक्टिसनर ऑफ आई सी आई ही वॉज इन कमेटी ऑफ बैंकिंग इंश्योरेंस एंड पेंशन कमेटी टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन एंड मेंबर ऑफ द स्टडी ग्रुप जी एस टी इन टू थाउजेंड नाइन एंड टेन खेतान प्लीज he was group leader in uh, indirect tax study group wrcf icai in 2015 16 chairman of student committee ye to list bahut lambi hai mainly he was the founder convener of this study circles kuch logon ne milke ye study circle ko khada kiya isme one of the main contribution was manish kadia aur aaj aap dekhenge ki quality wise and quantity mein we don't believe कोई दस दस बीस मेंबर्स ज्यादा होंगे लेकिन क्वालिटी वाइज दिस इज अकॉर्डेड एज द बेस्ट स्टडी सर्कल इन इंडिया सो दिस इज द मनीष गाड़िया अचीवमेंट एंड दिस इज हिस आई बिलीव फाइव 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 ट्रिपल फाइव पांच सौ पचपनवा लेक्चर है उनका जैसे ग्रेट अचीवमेंट अपन लोग एक दो दो तीन लेक्चर देने में घबराते हैं लेकिन इज अ फायर फाइटर कोई स्पीकर नहीं आता है कोई जीएसटी का स्पीकर मिस हो जाता है तो इनको सुबह बोल देते हैं मीटिंग में आते हैं भैया वो नहीं आ रहे हैं आपको बोलना है तो इज ऑलवेज रेडी ऐसा नहीं कि कुछ तैयारी करके आना है या उनको पढ़ के आना है या बुक्स बुक से रट करके आना है इज हैविंग एवरी थिंग बाई हार्ट सो दैट इज अवर मनीष गाडिया गाड़िया एंड पांच के फिगर से मेरा भी एक कनेक्शन है शायद मनीष जी जानते होंगे उसको तो दिस इज मनीष काडिया तो इसलिए मैंने बोला था मोबाइल साइलेंट कर लीजिए तो उनके अचीवमेंट सुनने में अच्छा लगेगा तो फ्रेंड्स एक बार फिर उनको वेरी लाउड अप्लॉज से हम वेलकम करते हैं जीएसटी रिसेंट अमेंडमेंट्स जीएसटी में रोज इतने अमेंडमेंट्स आते हैं कि कोई याद नहीं रख सकता है इसी हम लोगों को मनीष जी को याद करना पड़ता है मनीष जी Uh, before that, I would like to present the memento and bouquet, and request convener and deputy convener to please present a memento to the today's first speaker, opening speaker, C. M. Anish Kadia ji. Thank you. Thank you, friends. Thank you. गुड मॉर्निंग किसी ने बताया ट्रिपल फाइव ही सेड सो इसका भी एक इतिहास है आप सबको पता है 1999 में वी हैव स्टार्टेड दिस स्टडी सर्कल एंड आई थिंक इन द ईयर 2002 महेश बगेरिया वाज कन्वेनर एंड एट द बिगनिंग यू ऑल नो दैट वी वर हैविंग मीटिंग जस्ट अपोजिट टू दिस होटल इन 
बगड़का कॉलेज करेक्ट सर आप सब जो भी अपने पुराने मेंबर है सबको पता है उस टाइम पे अपनी स्ट्रेंथ हुआ करती थी 120 सौ बीस वेन महेश जी बिकेम कन्वेनर सो ही फॉट आई शुड से लिटरली ही फॉट विद द कोर ग्रुप कि नहीं नहीं मीटिंग हम स्कूल में नहीं करेंगे हम कोहिनोर में करेंगे एंड दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम नन ऑफ द मीटिंग ऑफ अवर इंस्टीट्यूट वॉज हैपनिंग इन अ फोर स्टार और फाइव स्टार होटल हमारे कफ परेड में जो कुलाबा में था वहीं पे मीटिंग होती थी या कोई हॉल में होती थी बट होटल में मीटिंग का कल्चर ही नहीं था अक्रॉस इंस्टीट्यूट सो ही सेट आई विल डू द मीटिंग तो द कंसर्न वॉज हाउ वी विल गेट द ऑडियंस और हाउ वील रिकवर दैट मनी एंड एवरीथिंग ही हेज गिवन द एश्योरेंस इफ एनी डेफिसिट विल बी देयर आई विल पे दैट डेफिसिट बट मीटिंग विल हैपन इन कोई नोट एंड दैट इयर वेन ई स्टेप डाउन एज कन्वेनर द मेंबरशिप of the study circle was from 120 to 555 and thanks this study circle because whatever i have achieved in my life in my journey of profession achieved from this study circle i still remember that the first lecture on service tax when i gave so this study circle gave me the first opportunity and all the members cooperated because as you know the first lecture hota hai to kafi kuch mistakes hoti hain aur kafi kuch improvement ki zarurat hoti hai so each and every member told me at this point you have to improve and that today i am so all thanks to study circle and all the members for being with me throughout my this journey so really thank you and today i am taking the session on recent amendment and this is the thing in gst har mahine aap is pe lecture rakh sakte hain and every month you will get something new this is what we are facing and i'm sometime now it is difficult to keep a track of the same but i will try my level best but whatever i am discussing today may be applicable till today may possible that may change tomorrow kisi mujhe yaad hai 4 saal pehle main gaya tha nasik mein same recent amendment pe lecture tha and when my lecture was there two days before many changes came so chairman of uh, nasik branch told sir dekha mera timing bahut acha hai sir ki aapka sab changes cover ho gaye in your presentation so my session was uh, evening 6 to 8 so while leaving i said chairman you are very happy now that all the recent changes has been covered but wait till an hour and we'll again discuss 9 o'clock i was traveling on the way chairman called sir abhi abhi just at this notification aaya so so today i am actually going to cover what has been uh, covered and what has been amended through a finance act and what happened in gsts income tax mein so we all know how it's happen once finance bill will be presented it will pass in the parliament president will sign and then the all the provisions become effective from that day but gst there is a concurrent power to the state as well as to the center for recovery and administration of tax so whatever changes comes in the finance bill need to be passed in all the state assemblies then only that provisions can be made effective so it will take its own sweet time so whatever amendment has been proposed in the gst act has become effective from 1st october 2022 may be proposed on 1st february 2022 so it almost took 6 month to get implemented so broad division is that 
input tax credit, extension of timelines, registration, cancellation of registration, they have made some changes, filing of return, they have made some changes, refund, exemption provision, and some other changes also. And this is the favorite topic of government, I should say, input tax credit. Jabbi ko change aega, isme pehle aega. Subhat ki hasre, he is also a GST practitioner, so he knows the pain what we have. Kahin pe bhi jate hai, koi bhi notice aata hai, ja ke hum usko success ho jate hai, immediately some changes come, as far as input tax credit is concerned. So, the intention behind bringing GST, the main intention was to have a seamless credit. That's what government told at that point of time to us. Because there were breakages in the earlier law as far as input tax credit was concerned. So they said we will come out with the seamless credit. And they have made given some conditions in section 16 for availment of input tax credit. So earlier they came out only with the four conditions to be satisfied. So Bhai Ji ko pata hai, wo char condition hi satisfy nahi ho rahi thi. Bade muskil se to client ko convince kiya ki char chijay to at least aap dekho. So what was that four conditions earlier was originally Possession of a tax invoice, debit note, etc. issued by a supplier registered under GST. So you should have an original copy of the invoice issued by your supplier with you if you want to take the credit. Whether it is relevant, not relevant, under the circumstances, I still have my own doubts. Second condition, I will go a little bit later because this condition made effective from 1st January 22. This was not the original condition. Then the third condition was you should receive the goods and or services. How to prove that you have received the service or not. GST pe consultancy lee phone pe unhone. Or many bill raise kar diya. How Mahesi will prove that he has received my consultancy? That all that challenges we have as far as receipt of service is concerned. To some extent, you can prove that you have received the goods. And still, we are facing that whether received the goods or not. Lot of litigations are going on. Department is saying that you have not received the goods. The so credit will not be allowed. How to prove? especially in the year 2017-18-19-19 when there was no e-way bill also. The only proof what you were having was only the laureus. So again, I'm not going into that because this is not relevant to today's topic, but uh, this should be keep in mind that received the goods or services need to be proved by the recipient of service because this condition is there. The third condition was the tax charge in respect of such supply share has been actually paid to the credit of appropriate government. How you will prove? Rakesh Gupta ji ke upar ek invoice issue kiya. Usko GSTR 1 mein bhi mene chaha diya. Once I upload this on GSTR 1, it will come in GSTR 2B of Gupta ji. But whether I have discharged the tax or not, how he is going to prove? Only he can believe that I am a nice guy. So probably must have paid the tax. But under no circumstances whatsoever, he will never be able to prove that I have paid the tax what I have collected. But this is the condition you need to satisfy. And the fourth condition was that you should claim this credit in the return, what the recipient is filing. So that was the litigate, that was the issue in uh, earlier the service tax regime also. Sajar Saab ko pata hai, ki hum kya karte te, books mein credit le lete te, return mein liya ki nahi liya, hum claim kar lete te, ki books mein liya to mujhe mil jayega. Correct sir? 
So to overcome that situation, they said, no, no, you have to take this credit in your return, that is in your 3B. Then only we will allow you to take the credit. Otherwise, what do books in your books? I don't know. So these are the originally four conditions. 1st January 2022, they said that details of the above invoice or debit note has been communicated to the recipient in GSTR 2B. First, they came out with Rule 36, Sub Rule 4, where they said that Jitna GSTR 2A may credit dekhega, uska we will give you 20% extra. Then they reduced to 10%, then 5%, then they said same to same. But that was the rule. No power has been given to the government by GST Act to restrict that credit by way of rule. Because we all are chartered accountant and we know that if power has not been given in the act, the rules has no validity. So that rule was never a starting point. And later on government realized. So what they did is they amended the act and they have included this condition that if anything will come in your GSTR 2B, then only you are be in a position to take the credit. Otherwise, the credit will not be allowed. So again, I'm not going into detailing of this because we all have started doing this since last uh, 1st January 22. So we are doing this. Hmm. So very good question, Maiji, you have raised. And many, many invoices we received digitally. And it says that this is a computer-generated invoice and signature is not required. Correct? But under which law? There is no law in India which says that if you are generating invoice or if you are generating any document, forget about invoice, any document, then signature is not required. So, whatever has been written is not valid. So, digital signature. So, digital signature may be kuch kuch problem aati. I am to not using digital signature at all, but convener told me and that, that uh, guy is there to solve that. So, you all know digital signature, DSC. Yes. So, that you can attach to your tax invoice. And then, whatever printout you can take, you can take the credit on the basis of that. But without signed invoice, it is not a valid invoice. So that is very important. The invoice, so, okay. So nowadays, if you have turnover more than 10 crore, then e-invoice is mandatory. Again, it is very important that once you are taking a credit, so it says that a position of tax invoice issued under so and so act, under so and so section, that is 31 section. Correct. So in that section, invoice point, they have covered e-invoice also. So if anyone is required, your supplier is required, the Sharma ji bete hai, Sharma ji ka to kya bada kaam hai. So, agar Sharma ji isne aapko koi service di, aur unho ne e-invoice nahi generate kiya, then it will not be treated as valid invoice. And then again, credit will not be available. So it is your duty to go on to the website, find out, putting the Sharma ji's number, ki inko e-invoicing mandatory hai ki nahi. So, ho sakta hai, inko invoice mandatory hoga, inko pata hi nahi hoga. Ye bhi possible hai. Kya kahi se chhut gaya. Then also you are not in a position to take the credit. So, again, so these are the five conditions, four original, one from 1st January 22, they have given. Every month, you have to see, sir. No, 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 no,
इलेवंथ ऑफ द मंथ तो 11 तारीख तक आपके सप्लायर ने इशू कर दिया तो आपको फोर्टीन को आपके टू बी में रिफ्लेक्ट हो जाता है अगर उसने 12 तारीख को किया तो अगले साल के टू बी में आएगा अगले महीने के सॉरी अगले महीने के टू बी में आएगा आपको तो यू कैन टेक क्रेडिट इन नेक्स्ट मंथ ओनली सो ये भी पॉसिबल है कि आपने एक बैक टू बैक ट्रांजेक्शन किया यू मे बी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर कंपनी क्वाइट पॉसिबल वहां पे बैक टू बैक ट्रांजेक्शन होते हैं कि नाइनटी फाइव रुपीज का काम कोई और कर रहा है और आपने हंड्रेड रुपीज का बिलिंग किया तो आपके सब सर मैं समझ गया आपके क्वेश्चन से तो उसमें क्या होता है कि उसने इनवॉइस तो आपका इशू कर दिया सितंबर मंथ में 11 अक्टूबर के बदले कोई भी टेक्निकल रीजन से वो नहीं चढ़ा पाया और 12 अक्टूबर को उसने अपलोड किया सो so, आपको तो पहले महीने में अक्टूबर महीने में पूरे सौ रुपए पे टैक्स भर देना है और अगले महीने में यू विल बी इन पोजिशन टू टेक द क्रेडिट ऑफ दैट नाइनटी फाइव रुपीज एंड फॉर क्लेमिंग दैट Quite possible that it will take two three years, but you won't have any other solution to this. See, if you see the condition, sir. Actually, this condition. This talk about you should receive the goods or services. So. If any advance you have paid, I'll take example goods ke case mein to naam a GST is not payable. So in case of service, so if you have paid any service, uh, if any anything in advance for service to be received, like infrastructure ka hi lete hain. Wo bola bhi mere ko contract ke saath mein aap four uh, crore rupees de do. Then only I will start mobilizing uh, mobilizing my uh, equipments. Correct. But this is not the tax invoice. He may provide service later on, but he has to pay charge GST, pay GST. But you may not be in a position to take the credit because this condition is not satisfied. So all the conditions need to be satisfied. Now, from first October two thousand twenty-two, one more condition they have added: section sixty two B A. The details of input tax credit in respect of said supply. Communicated to such registered person under Section Thirty Eight has not been restricted. So then, what is Section Thirty Eight? Now they have amended the Section Thirty Eight also from first October two thousand twenty-two. Before that, Section Thirty Eight of CGST dealt with the furnishing of details of inward supply and prescribed. For filing the form GSTR two, containing details of inward supplies, etc. So we all knows that when the originally GST came, so they came out with the idea of GSTR one, GSTR two, and GSTR three. Yes or no? There was a matching concept. That system was actually very good. So both supplier and recipient. should be intimated the supplier will first so what we will do is we will understand this better what the earlier concept was originally abc and company has supplied some goods or maybe some services to gmj on maybe 15th april and they will furnish their gstr1 that is outward supply on 10th originally date was 10th once on 10th they will supply uh, they will upload this to so 11th the recipient can be in a position to see in his gstr 2 that was proposed earlier that that credit is there and by 15th he has to upload his gstr 2 and in that he can say okay this supplier as pradeep ji bhi idhar hai तो प्रदीप जी ने जीएसटीआर वन में मेरा नाम डाल के अपलोड कर दिया तो मुझे बिल तो दे दिया क्वाइट पॉसिबल दैट ही इज नॉट अपलोडेड एट इन वॉइस सो ओरिजिनली इट सेड दैट यू कैन आल्सो टेक द क्रेडिट प्रोविजनली मनीष जीएमजे कैन टेक द क्रेडिट प्रोविजनली 
and upload that invoice in his GSTR two. Then government will communicate to Pradeep Agrawal ji that you have not paid tax on that, and he is claiming this input tax today. So it will prompt supplier also. Then supplier in his next return will accept or may not accept. If he will not accept, then credit will be denied to me. If he will accept, then I can take the credit. So there was a two-way communication was proposed under the earlier regime, and then twentieth I have to pay the file the GSTR three. All that scenario was there. It may be possible that Pradeep Agrawal ji ne mujhe lakh rupees ka bill issue kiya, eight thousand rupees GST lagaya, but galti se chada the time pe ten thousand chada diya. Ya ho sakta hai ki ten lakh ka ho gaya. That mistake also we have seen many times. Then also I can edit the claim. And if yes, one lakh to one lakh kiya hai, then I have to then accept. So it will automatically come in my GSTR too. That was the system under the earlier regime, and I can take the provisional credit. And by twentieth, I have to file GSTR three. I will take the credit. I will make the differential payment. That was the matching concept given with uh, section thirty-eight. Read with forty-one, forty-two, forty-three. I have taken all together. That was the situation given under the earlier regime. and the best part was there was a two way communication now it has been substituted entirely with a new section which provide for communication of details of inward supplies and input tax credit as per new section 38 the details furnished by the supplier in gstr1 shall be communicated to taxpayer In an auto-generated statement, that is GSTR two B, and this statement will consist of two parts. One part shall consist details of inward supplies in respect of which credit of tax may be available to the creditors uh, to the recipient, and another part that provide details of supplies in respect of which such credit cannot be availed by the recipient. तो वो ऑटोमेटिक अपने आप दो आपको स्टेटमेंट देता है तो पार्ट बी में यू कैन टेक द क्रेडिट पार्ट वन यू कैन टेक द क्रेडिट सो व्हाट इज नाउ नीड सिचुएशन इज सपोज 15 अक्टूबर एबीसीए सप्लाइड सम गुड्स और सर्विसेज टू मी एंड देन फर्निश इज जीएसटीआर 1 ऑन 11th ऑफ द नवंबर रिसिपिएंट कैन व्यू द परचेजेस एंड क्रेडिट फ्रॉम 14th अंडर जीएसटीआर 2b generated due to auto populated and details of supply in respect of itc may be available itc cannot be available so the part one is the word important is that itc may be available so it is not compulsory that whatever is there in part one you can take the credit then you have to see whether you can be in a position to you can take or not it may be possible that uh, something is covered under 175 block credit may come in part 1 something may not be related to your business was you have booked any uh, leisure travel and your travel agent has wrongly put your gst number also Which credit is not available, but it will come in your part one. So then you have to select that it will be available or not available. And ITC cannot be availed. That is part two. It means in any circumstances this credit is not available to you. And then what is the basis for coming any item in part two? That supplies made by any registration. Uh, any registered person within such period of registration. So in future they may come out and they say, okay, आपने किसी नए आदमी ने register किया है. New registration is there, so maybe one month, maybe two months, maybe three months credit will not be allowed. That may be the intention that is given in the law, so that they will they can prescribe within such period of registration. Either registration by the recipient or maybe by the supplier. 
put them covered there. This situation may come in future. So you have to be very careful that you are going to purchase or not. Yes, sir. Period. So if your supplier has defaulted for payment in past, so they can restrict your credit and then it will come in part two. And that credit cannot be availed. Now is where the output tax payable by whom exceeds the output tax paid by him by said limit. So if you go to rule 86B, I will cover 86B a little bit later because there is also they have made some changes in respect of that. So broadly 86B says that if anyone's turnover is exceeding 50 lakhs, then you can take credit of 99% of your liability. So at least 1% you have to pay from the uh, cash ledger. Subject to certain conditions are there, so I will cover a little bit later. So if somebody has not adhered to that limit and take took 100% credit, then also your credit will be can be restricted. Fourth is who has availed ITC can exceed the credit that can be availed by such limit. Fifth one is who has defaulted in discharging tax liability subject to restrictions. And five, fifth one is by such other class of person. So they may say, okay, ye class of person, you may not be in a position to take credit. And these six conditions are not enough. And they say, as may be prescribed. So originally for availing credit, how many conditions we have seen? Five, then next six, 38. And now again here, six conditions. So whether it is a single condition or whether it is a six condition, six more conditions, that being a chartered accountant, you are in a better position to understand that. And at section 38, currently there is no now two-way communication. Pradeep Ji ne agar invoice nahi upload kiya. So under any circumstances, I can't take the credit and I can't communicate to the government also that he has not uploaded that invoice what he has supplied to me. So, उसे माल भी परचेज कर दिया उसका पैसा भी दे दिया उसका मैंने जीएसटी भी दे दिया एंड ही रन अवे देन आल्सो आई हैव नो रेमेडी एंड गवर्नमेंट हैज अ पावर टू रिकवर दैट टैक्स बिकॉज़ आई हैव टुक द क्रेडिट सो फ्रॉम मी व्हिच वाज नॉट द केस इन द अर्लियर सेक्शन 38 विल रीड विद सेक्शन सेक्शन 41 42 एंड 43 Pradeep ji, before you start, I just wish him today he is celebrating his birthday. So, and thanks for celebrating your birthday with your family members. No, I'll come out to that. See what happening now. And now department also accepted that. Suppose I purchase anything from Pradeep ji and he has not paid the tax. So what department used to come directly came to me and said you have taken the credit. So you pay along with interest and pay the penalty also because he has not paid the tax. The court said that the first department should go to the supplier. Whether he is traceable or not, approachable not or not, 
if you are not in a position to trust that supplier if you are not in a position to catch hold of that him then only you should recover the tax from the recipient so directly you can't recover the tax from the recipient because supplier has not paid the fee so you have to interpret that actual payment of tax that what conditions uh, 162 third condition i was discussing that related to that that was the interpretation given by the court and now it is accepted by the department also and they have issued the circular also first to go and try to recover tax from the supplier again sir farji registration kisi ne karaya hai so he will run away then what you can do still that issue is there so now after what is the way forward so i have put some pointers what came to my mind maybe right wrong i don't know but you can also improve the same first of all whether it is seamless credit or not that question mark is always there from the day one when the gst came and is still is that question mark is becoming more bigger now ki credit lena hai ya nahi lena hai are we doing any crime in taking credit so anyway so it's broadly says that you will get the credit once government will get the tax from the supply so that's what broadly all these conditions say now so now we have to ensure that the amount has been credited to the government kitty so really we are doing business or we are acting as an tax recovery agent without any fees without any salary for the government and if any mistake i will do i will be i may be behind the bar also forget about the financial penalties this is what broadly i can say then availment of itc has now been more stringent another question comes to my mind is if gst a 2b me aa raha hai it means the supplier has paid the tax आंसर इज स्टिल नो तो पहली बात है पार्ट टू में तो लेना ही नहीं है पार्ट वन में भी आपको सेलेक्ट करना है कि सेवनटीन फाइव है कि नहीं है जो भी है दैट यू टू सेलेक्ट उसके बाद भी आपने ले लिया मीटिंग ऑल द कंडीशन नॉट नेसेसरी दैट द सप्लायर हैज मेड द पेमेंट यू कैन डिटरमाइन सर आपने बीस के बदले समझो पच्चीस को भी किया सो भी हाउ यू विल डिटरमाइन सर थ्री बी में भी उसने कितना लाइबिलिटी दिखाया और कितना पे किया मुझे नहीं मालूम वन में हो सकता है उसने लाइबिलिटी पूरा दिखाया होगा और थ्री बी में कम पेमेंट किया होगा करेक्ट सो नाउ दे हैव स्टार्टेड दैट बट अगेन फॉर So suppose you are filing return of L and T, and you may have a uh, more than uh, lakhs vendor in a month. How you are go to each and every vendor and find out? So there are they have provided that, but once they will say now we have provided this window, we have provided this tab. Your responsibility to find out each each and every supplier.
that is what we think i will say see what we are doing in our offices we are again and again writing a email to the client and guiding to the client that taking a credit is your responsibility to be ka reconciliation wo aapko karna hai milega ya nahi milega wo aapko batana hai so otherwise as a chartered accountant it's not possible at all because to be mein mujhe first information milegi 14th ko uske pehle aayega nahi barabar hai madam 14th pe aayega uske pehle aayega nahi और मुझे 20 तक मेरे सब क्लाइंट के रिटर्न भरने हैं और दो चार ऐसे क्लाइंट है जिसके कि हजारों में है वेंडर तो मैं फुल टाइम भी बैठ के दो स्टाफ चार स्टाफ भी लगाऊंगा तो पॉसिबल नहीं है चेक कर पाना सो वी हैव टू कम्युनिकेट एंड वी हैव टू वेरी क्लियरली स्पेल आउट दैट दिस इज नॉट माई रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी अदरवाइज तो क्लाइंट विल वी ऑल नो तो आई विल नॉट डिस्कस विद दैट That difficulty is there, sir. So, at least or 20 ke baale 20 or 25 ko bhi wo issue rehne wala hai. Yeah, forever, forever. It's not possible na how you can find out na each and everything. There to be some time practical also. Sir, है वो तो अभी क्या करेंगे कुछ मंथली है कुछ क्वार्टरली है आरसीएम का है करना ही पड़ेगा सर आरसीएम का ये इशू है इन केस ऑफ इम्पोर्ट दैट इज ऑल्सो अ चैलेंज so if custom duty is handled by cbic gst is handled by cbic even after implementation of five and half year both the portals are not in a position to communicate with each other income tax is handled by cbdt uh, cbdt gst is handled by cbic correct both the portals are different different board is managing but they can be easy in a position to easily communicate on real time basis are kya sir aapko gst wala aata hai aur bolta hai ki fraud aapne purchase kiya dusre din income tax wala hafte 10 din mein aake baith jata hai barabar hai so maybe by portal maybe by anything they are easy in a position to communicate na but cbic ka cbic mein communication nahi hai even after find out you I can't say that. <laughs> so I won't have solutions. I have only issues. So I came here to find out the solution. If you all have anything on this, anyway, can recovery be made from the recipient if ITC appear in GSTR two B? Explanation to section seventy five twelve, which says that supplies declared in GSTR one is self assessed liability. Only when supplier is non-existent, then can be recovered from the recipient. That what we were talking about uh, this case also. So now they have accepted, they have amended the law also. But how far they are going to implement, I don't know. Now you need to change the contract with the vendors also. And as far as possible, pay the tax. Once it will appear in your GSTR to be at least, if possible. In many, I mean, uh, some of the cases it may not be possible to wait till that time also. But as far as possible, you should amend that uh, contract. Now more compliance and reconciliation for availment of ITC. That's what I said. That now we have to. communicate to the client that you need at least depending on his business maybe 1% 2% 3% only and only for the reco of input tax credit with the portal chote se chote businessmen ke liye bhi without a full time employee it is not possible in my view 
to reconcile whatever input text they are taking. Yeah. Yeah. So, is it ease of doing business or doing compliance for tax authorities? So, keeping that in uh, view, now I move forward. Now they have come out with a new time limit for availment of uh, input tax credit uh, or uh, what you can say credit note. So maybe I will take up a little bit later this issue. This provisional ITC and uh, matching concept was there under section 41 also that 41 has been scrapped as I said 41, 42, 43 has been scrapped now. And now new section 41 provide that the taxpayer shall self assess and claim ITC in 3B. It further provide that in case of a taxpayer has claimed ITC of GST, which is not paid, deposited by the corresponding supplier, then the taxpayer recipient shall reverse the ITC along with interest. And it says that he can recredit the same once he will make the pin. So 41 or originally talking, originally talking about only provisional ITC. And now it says that you can't take the credit itself. Once you have taken the credit, reverse the credit along with interest. If your supplier has not paid the same. And 42, 43, to, uh, anyway, they have scrapped. Then there are certain restrictions they have given in rule 86A. And this 86A is an old rule. But I'll just summarize. I'm not going into detail because whether this rule was applicable, not applicable earlier, I have my own doubt. But again, it says that, first of all, it says restriction. This is the heading what they have given to rule 86A. Restrictions on use of amount in electronic credit ledger. The commissioner or any officer below the rank of AC having a reason to believe the credit of ITC available in the electronic credit ledger has been fraudulently availed or is ineligible in as much as. So whether he's sure or not, but if he reason to believe, then also he can restrict. And Amare Yato Ke Ashok Sharma Ji Bethe in his encyclopedia on case laws. So sir, what is the meaning of reason to believe? Excuse me, Mike. Because it is very tricky subject. Because income tax, so there are lots and lots of cases on reason to believe. So that is the difference. But in GST, they won't understand the tax law. Income tax law, basically. So, the reason to believe is not an officer. And he doesn't understand it. So, he, he read this rule like, if credit of ITC is available in electronic credit ledger has been fraudulently taken, then he can restrict. That's what he is reading. So, that is very important that you can borrow the case laws of uh, income tax also on reason to believe. And that he has to put in in writing in at least in his proceeding sheet. Once he is going for this restriction, and it says that the credit of input tax uh, tax credit uh, input tax has been availed on the strength of tax invoice, etc., as prescribed under thirty six, issued by a registered person who has found non-existent or not to be conducting any business from any place for which registration has been obtained. So, this is the premise of registration. 
और वो प्रीमाइसिस की एग्जिस्टेंस में नहीं है देन आल्सो मी ही मे हैव अ रीजन टू बिलीव विदाउट रिसीट ऑफ गुड्स और सर्विसेज और बोथ एंड नाउ इट इज डिपार्टमेंट इज वेरी स्मार्ट देन व्हेनेवर यू जनरेट ईवे इनवॉइस ईवे बिल you always put a lorry receipt in that lorry uh, uh, vehicle number and on the government side if you put the vehicle number so kis din kaun sa vehicle kahan pe tha kis samay pe they are in a position to find out that so hum jaate hain toll pe humko khali khali dikhta hai hum bade khush ho jate hain ki modi government ne itna acha hamare liye bana diya fast tag laga diya now there is no queue बराबर ना छाजर साहब सुभाष जी को मजा आ रहा है सुन के हाँ सो so, हमको लगा ये हमारे टोल के लिए हमारे बेनिफिट के लिए उसके लिए नहीं है तो आर एफ आई डी उसने इंस्टॉल किया है ताकि ही कैन फाइंड आउट विच व्हीकल इज ट्रेवलिंग विच प्लेस जैसे ही वो टोल क्रॉस करेगा ना उधर उसके पोर्टल पे आ जाता है व्हीकल का मूवमेंट and you can also find out the, what is the capacity of vehicle because subhash ji ko pata hai excise regime mein bhi aur humne tab to dikkat hoti thi but gst mein scooter pe bhi 10 10 ton mal ja raha hai <laughs> so then he can easily prove that you have not received the goods or goods at least so you have to be very careful starting mein client hamare paas aata tha bolta hai sir mere ko mal mila hai ye lr ki copy hai sab kuch hai ऑफिसर के पास जाते थे बोले सर ये देखो स्कूटर पे माल आया ये व्हीकल माल आया है सूरत से बॉम्बे और ये डेट है ईवे बिल पे लेकिन ये व्हीकल जो है ना आर एफ आई डी से मुझे ट्रैक हो रहा है चेन्नई में तो बाद में पता चलता है फिर पूछते थे बोलता हाँ सर वो बराबर है माल तो फर्जी था खाली बिल ही लिया था So this is the restriction they have put put now in the rule. Tax has not been paid by the supplier. The registered person availing the credit of input tax and not conducting business from any business premises from anyone. the registered person availing any credit of input tax is not in a position of tax invoice so again tax invoice e invoice also once i already discussed this may for the reason to be recorded in writing not allow the debit of any amount equivalent to such credit in electronic credit ledger then commissioner authorize him uh, ac me upon being satisfied that condition for disallowing the debit uh, and then he can allow also uh, lift the this this is the actually section 86a and for section 86a the power has been given from section uh, sorry rule 86a the power has been given from section 49a section 49a4 is read as the amount available in the electronic credit ledger may be used by making any payment towards the output tax under this act or under integrated tax in such manner and subject to such condition with such tax as you prescribe so it's talking about only conditions but rule is start with restriction so now what they have done is from 1st october 22 they have amended the law they have amended the law and and they have added and the restrictions so they have seen that there may be a case law in future saying that there was no restriction power has been given in section uh, 49 a4 and that's why to take that care they have added the word and restriction so now there will not be any dispute in future on rule 86 a applicability 
Then 86B has been introduced from 1st January 2021. And this rule talk about <coughs> that what I said about 99%. Uh, it says that has been to, has imposed 99% restriction of ITC available in the electronic laser of registered person. According to this rule, 1% of output tax liability to be paid in cash. And this limitation is applicable where the value of taxable supply other than exempt supply or zero rated supply in a month exceeds 50 lakh rupees. <coughs> cash may payment karna hi karna hai. Further, it says that this rule 86A B will not be applicable if the person mentioned below have been paid income tax of more than 1 lakh rupees as a karta, proprietor, etc. etc. The registered person has under the concern have uh, received a refund of amount greater than 1 lakh rupees in the present financial year on amount of export under LUT or due to inverted tax structure. <coughs> Agar aapne refund claim kiya, sorry, not income tax, refund of GST. If you have claimed more than 1 lakh rupees for any reason, then also this 1% restriction is not applicable. If the registered person under the is discharge is liability toward output tax by electronic cash laser for an amount in excess of 1% cumulatively of the total output tax liability in the uh, up to the said month in the current financial year. So current financial year, already 1% so you can take that benefit. And if registered person under concern is also is any of the following that is government department, public sector, etc. etc. So only this four kind of four class of people restriction of 86B is not applicable. Then it is not applicable. Only two conditions they have given. Zero rated under LUT or inverted duty. ITC refund only. There was, there has been dispute over validity of this provision since its implementation. So now they have amended the section 49B and now 49B read as notwithstanding anything contained in this act, the government may on the recommendation of council subject to such condition and restrictions uh, specify such maximum uh, portion of output tax liability under the act, so and so. So now, so here we are seeing that many rules, they have come out without having any power for restriction. And now they are realizing the mistake and now they are amending the act also. So whether 86 B applicable prior to 1st October 22 is again, I have on my, my own doubt. Then they have extended some timelines also. So first they have amended section 16.4. I know everyone knows what is section 16.4. Yes or no? Claiming time limit for claiming input tax credit. So ikkis by iska credit earlier you were in a position to take only till 20th October 22. That is the due date of filing of September month return. Correct? Now, instead of that, they have extended it and they said that now you can claim this credit till 30th November. November. So, what is the difference now? They have given the date. So, earlier they were saying due date of filing of September month return. 
तो सेप्टेम्बर मंथ का रिटर्न अगर आपने बीस अक्टूबर के बदले अगर इक्कीस अक्टूबर को फाइल किया और इफ यू आर क्लेमिंग एनी क्रेडिट देन दैट क्रेडिट वॉज ऑल्सो नॉट अलाउड एंड नाउ दे आर सेंग दैट टिल थर्टी एथ नवंबर कोई भी महीने का रिटर्न आप भर रहे हैं तो यू कैन क्लेम बट सपोज अक्टूबर मंथ रिटर्न यू आर सपोज टू फाइल ऑन विच डेट ट्वेंटी एथ नवंबर एंड यू फाइल ऑन ड्यू डेट देन तीस नवंबर तक का आपको टाइम नहीं है बिकॉज यू कैन क्लेम क्रेडिट ओनली एंड ओनली इन योर थ्री वी विच यू हैव ऑलरेडी फाइल that you have to keep in mind that now it is not due date of filing of november month return so practically they have extend this time limit for only one month why only one month because 30 september tak mera tax audit wagaire hota hai audit complete hota hai uske baad at least i will get a month to reconcile whatever i have taken credit and which has been left out so now i can take so that's why they have extended only practically one month No, this will be now permanent. I have just taken example of twenty one, twenty two for understanding. Twenty two, twenty three also twenty going forward because they have amended the act. No, so every year now. Yeah. So now, so that I have written here the question mark. So quarterly वाले का तो सर September का September ही रह गया है उसका कोई extension नहीं हुआ. only those who are filing monthly their time limit has been extended so quarterly wale ko koi fayda nahi then section 34 declaration of the uh, details of credit note in return again credit note earlier it was due date of filing of september month return to practically 11 october tha now it has been said that now you can file till 30th november बट प्रैक्टिकली इलेवन नवंबर अक्टूबर तक के रिटर्न में आप ले सकते हैं इलेवन और अक्टूबर का रिटर्न बट नाउ यू कैन डिले ऑल्सो बट वंस यू डिले योर अक्टूबर मंथ रिटर्न द क्रेडिट टू योर सप्लायर योर कस्टमर विल ऑल्सो बी मूव टू नेक्स्ट मंथ सो वेदर डिले इज वाइज और नॉट दैट यू हैव टू टेक कॉल तो प्रैक्टिकल पर्पज इज नाउ इलेवन अक्टूबर इलेवन नवंबर क्वेश्चन Any other particular you have furnished in the return, if something has been left out, so you have some wrong credit le liya hai, then you can reverse that credit also. So penalty वगैरह सब आपने निकल जाएगा थर्टी एट नवंबर तक थर्टी एट जून टाइम. Then rectification of particular in the statement, ECS operator that is e-commerce operator का if they can. So now it has been practical. It is thirty eight November instead of twenty eight October or so whatever. This already I discussed. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Uploading of last year's invoices. I was filing on online basis for two more months invoices of last year. But then the source leader he didn't accept. The system didn't accept. So when you tried? Maybe first week of October. अपलोड करना है कोई डेबिट नोट अपलोड करना एवरीथिंग इज नॉट अलाउड लेकिन आप कैसे करेंगे सर अभी अपलोड अगर इनवाइस इशू करना है तो 11 तारीख चली गई है कैसे करेंगे जीएसटी आर वन ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड ना 
दिस इज एक्चुअली अ स्मार्ट मूव is already i discussed now it is due date of september month say now it they have moved to 30th november there is a question again lastly samir why they say wrong to uh, wrongly from b to b to b to c assignment that you can rectify now na how to effect a change in b to c because that period the tax was paid in that b to c wo mujhe dekhna padega sir practically i have not filed any return since last 5 years <laughs> But uh, they, it is allowed, and uh, team are doing it. जो भी है वहाँ मतलब I am not practically done because I am not into compliance. Sir. Yeah. This already I discussed. Now rate of interest. They have amended section fifty, subsection three. The first is that now wrong availment of ITC. I welcome Jitendra Kandol, next speaker. So it means now time for me to stop. You know, I am just telling you all the expenses. You are just going to tell me the amount. अरे खर्चा करा दू पहले ओके ओके चलो सो नाउ इंटरेस्ट फॉर आई टी सी रॉन्ग अवेलमेंट ऑल्सो रिड्यूस फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फोर परसेंट टू एटीन परसेंट दट इज द बेस्ट गुड मूव अदरवाइज आई टी सी के लिए चौबीस था और Output liability it was eighteen percent. Now both are eighteen percent, and if somebody has paid the tax, uh, paid the interest at the rate of twenty four percent, now they can claim the refund also. So fatta fatta refund apply karwa lo ab. Kiyon se unhone? Yeah, it is retrospective amendment. Retrospective amendment. So now they are saying that refund is also available. So you go for. Arey refund apply karna padega na? Huh? They have to file any refund application per day basis. Sir, but if I have to pay wrong availment credit, it is four crore ka credit. Hai, to six percent of the interest, I have to pay extra for that year. Three years, four years, I have to pay it. So now I can claim that refund at least. The rest of the money. But for me, what will happen? Sir, the fees will be paid. Client will come. So refund will be paid. and the best part is now they have made it more spell out and more clearly say they said that no interest shall be levable on itc availed but not utilized i hope everybody knows what is the difference between itc availed and itc utilized so pehle to avail bhi kar liya tha to bhi interest mang rahe the so now they can't demand it interest to be paid as a drc three or normal cash drc three they are not accepting here standard cash नहीं डीआरसी थ्री तो कैश से ही आएगा ना कैश से पेमेंट करके आपको एडजस्ट डीआरसी थ्री से करना है करना रहेगा वो कैंसलेशन ऑफ रजिस्ट्रेशन सेक्शन ट्वेंटी नाइन दे सेट द प्रॉपर ऑफिसर में कैंसल द रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ पर्सन फ्रॉम सच डेट इंक्लूडिंग एनी रेट्रोस्पेक्टिव डेट एज पी डी फिट and there they have given a registered person has contravented such provision of the act or rules made there under as may be prescribed or a person paying tax under section 10 has not furnished return for three consecutive period now it, instead of three consecutive period they are saying the return of for the financial year beyond three months from the date of this any registered person other than a person specified in clause uh, this has not b has not furnished the return for a continuous period of six months the continuous period As may be prescribed. So now cancellation, they have made the change. They may reduce. They they got the power to reduce maybe from six month to three month also, but no notification has been issued. They may come out with notification and they may reduce or increase that.
the following clause has been inserted in rule 21 of cgst following condition are not satisfied then registration can be cancelled to this they have made the amendment and this two things they have added now sub clause h says that being a registered person required to file return under sub section 1 of 39 as per has not furnished return for a continuous period of 6 month and being a registered person required to file uh, 139 continuous period of two tax period dot for quarterly <laughs> what is the impact of cancellation of registration it is very important to know all of us is that once you have taken itc so during unregistered period you can't take itc तो योर सप्लायर आईटीसी आपको नहीं मिलेगा अगर उसका रजिस्ट्रेशन कैंसिल हो गया देन आईटीसी ऑफ टैक्स पेड ऑन आउटवर्ड सप्लाई आउटवर्ड सप्लाई बाय सच पर्सन शैल नॉट बी अवेलेबल टू दिस कस्टमर देन टैक्स पेड बाय सच पर्सन शैल बी रिकवर्ड फ्रॉम हिम विद इंटरेस्ट एंड पेनल्टी बिकॉज आपने जो लाइबिलिटी आपके ड्यूरिंग दैट अनरजिस्टर्ड पीरियड है यू हैव टू पे द टैक्स अलोंग विद इंटरेस्ट बट योर कस्टमर विल नॉट गेट द क्रेडिट एंड यू विल आल्सो नॉट गेट द क्रेडिट एट द सेम टाइम एंड सच पर्सन मे बी अरेस्टेड आल्सो बिकॉज इफ अमाउंट एक्सीड रुपीस 5 करोड़ ऑल दिस इंपैक्ट्स आर देयर If we get that uh, cancellation COO from the one year back, so then his profile is also showing that he has filed return twenty one. Are we eligible to get or uh, we have to reverse it? So you are not in a position to take the credit. So that's what I said. That it is very difficult now to claim credit. One year before retrospective amendment, he has cancelled it. Because that power is there in section twenty nine. So that power is there in section twenty nine. So then the challenge is there like our professionally secure ourselves from taking this uh, see as a time filing the return permit time and time of filing i can see that it's like he has filed the return since last period but no, no, i got it so what you can do at the best is you can uh, take the print out or you can download that to be keep in your record and then you have to go to the court and said that he once we have cancelling this retrospectively at that point of time he has paid the tax and all the conditions were satisfied to so my credit should not be denied but the decision final decision will come from the supreme court only on this matter till that time if the amount is small then you won't have any other option than to forego that sir they are charging interest and penalty I I understood, sir. I am also facing the same problem. That's what I am saying. Is sir, the amount of five crore is tax liability or total demand? Tax liability. Five crore tax liability, yes, sir. Interest, वगैरह नहीं गिरना. उतना relief है आपको. Sir, but the cancellation the cancellation of the return permit, 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 cancellation of the return definitely that you will get so why he is raising this question subhash so, you were you know that agar 18 19 ka bhi aapne credit liya hai uska 2021 se bhi kiya hai to department has issued a notice ki this registration has been cancelled so you will not get the credit so many this kind of notices has been issued barabar na subhash ji mike dena na sir ek minute Sir, that's why I raised this question to you because VAT me there are decisions. Absolutely. So that case law you have to quote and you have to file. Correct. So then you can say कि अठारह उन्नीस का तो मेरा कोई भी केस बनता ही नहीं है ठीक है अठारह उन्नीस में तो उसका रजिस्ट्रेशन वैलिड था तो डेफिनेटली यू विल गेट द रिलीफ मे नॉट बी एट द लोअर लेवल बट एटलीस्ट ट्रिब्यूनल में तो आपको रिलीफ मिल ही जाएगा हंड्रेड परसेंट बेस्ड ऑन दिस जजमेंट 
सुरेश रेडी ओके सेक्शन थर्टी सेवन फोर से दैट अ रजिस्टर्ड पर्सन शेल नॉट बी अलाउड टू फर्निश द डिटेल्स ऑफ आउटपुट सप्लाईज अंडर सब सेक्शन वन ऑफ द टैक्स पीरियड इफ द डिटेल्स ऑफ आउटपुट सप्लाईज फॉर Any of the period taxpayer has not been furnished by him. So, जब तक मैंने सितंबर का जीएसटीआर वन नहीं फाइल किया मुझे अक्टूबर का जीएसटीआर वन फाइल करने नहीं देगा तो पहले दे, दे वर अलाउिंग so, क्या है सेप्टेम्बर का पैसा खा गया और अक्टूबर का भर रहा हूं तो अक्टूबर के कस्टमर को क्रेडिट मिल रहा है एंड थ्री बी ऑल्सो नाउ दे से एवरी रजिस्टर्ड पर्सन एवरी रजिस्टर्ड नॉन रेसिडेंट टैक्सेबल पर्सन शेल फाइल थ्री बी On or before thirtieth, thirteenth. It was originally twentieth. Now they have reduced the time limit from twentieth to thirteenth. And GSTR three B cannot be filed unless GSTR one of the period previous tax period has not been filed. So three B same period ka le lega. October ka one nahi gaya. So October ka three B file kar sakte hain. Lekin November ka three B file nahi hoga jab tak ki October ka GSTR one nahi jaye. so that is good in a way they have made some changes in table 4 of gstr 3b this is the gstn has uh, made certain changes uh, in 3b it may be noted that the notified few changes in table 4 of uh, is enabling taxpayer to correctly report information regarding itc avail itc reversal and ineligible itc in table 4 this is very important because in the past ssc have made a mistake कि क्रेडिट नोट के बदले इनवॉइस हो गया कोई माल रिटर्न आया सामने वाले ने क्रेडिट नोट इशू नहीं किया आपने डेबिट नोट इशू कर दिया और आपने डेबिट नोट अपलोड कर दिया सो अल्टीमेटली आपकी लायबिलिटी तो उधर सेम रह गई बट दे विल से दैट दिस क्रेडिट इज वाज नॉट अवेलेबल व्हिच यू हैव नॉट रिवर्स एंड डेबिट नोट यू हैव रेज्ड ऑन योर सप्लायर इट मींस यू हैव सप्लाइड सम गुड्स और सर्विसेज सो दैट लायबिलिटी इज स्टिल देयर सो नाउ यू हैव टू करेक्टली रिपोर्ट everything in gstr 4 it is now important so i am not going into detail of the same table 4 now late fees of 100 rupees or subject to maximum 5000 rupees has been uh, there for uh, section 50 of tcs filers e commerce operator The refund also they have made some changes uh, of refund claim procedure explicitly uh, provide for refund in such form. So if you were having some balance in your cash register, so वो आपको automatically आप refund ले सकते थे. But now they will prescribe the form and you have to file a refund application. Now they have made that stringent more. and now uno etc ke liye jo hai refund ke liye now they have given a period of 2 years which was earlier 6 month they have made certain changes in refund claim procedure also in special economic zone also रिफंड के लिए दे हैव मेड सम चेंजेस दे हैव मेड सम चेंजेस और क्लेरिफिकेशन इशूड फॉर रूल एटी नाइन फाइव दैट इज इन्वर्टेड ड्यूटी रिफंड सो दे हैव चेंज द फॉर्मूला सो इफ यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस बेटर टर्न ओवर इज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड टोटल एडजस्टेड टर्न ओवर देन बिकम्स सिक्स लैक्स ITC of on inputs is fifty thousand and ITC on input service is fifteen thousand. ITC on capital goods is five thousand and total ITC is seventy thousand. So now earlier formula was that under earlier formula you were getting refund of eighteen thousand three thirty three. So I am not going into the formula. It is there in the notes. Eighteen thousand three thirty three. 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 now so this is a welcome change they have made it more rational than earlier one certain exemptions they have exempted the uh, service of grant of alcoholic liquor license 
So all the restaurant and uh, liquor bar and liquor shops required to take the license and uh, GST was levyable. Now they have made it uh, clear that it is exempted supply. So no GST shall be levyable. Daru says, Sasti ho jai. And then supply of unintended waste generated during the production of fish meal, etc. They have exempted. So I am not going into detail. This is very important. So if suppose the shipper is in India or maybe exporter is in India and shipping line or maybe aircraft, both are Indian. And now any goods to be exported. So in that scenario, place of supply in respect of transportation of goods is the destination of the goods. Correct? But if both the parties are in India, then it will be taxable in India. Because for becoming export, either of the party should be out of India. At least recipient should be out of India. So, exporter of goods were liable to pay GST earlier on this kind of transaction. So, department realized and they have come out with the exemption notification saying that this service will be exempt. And they keep on extending, extending it. The last extension was given till 30th September 2022. After that, they have not extended it. So now what is the position is it will become taxable in India. What will be the place of supply? India. So in report, in uh, your uh, return, you will disclose under code 97, other taxable territory. And once it is disclosed under other taxable territory, then the recipient will not get the credit. But taking any credit, the place of supply should be my location. So now this is from 1st October 22, it's becoming the cost to the exporter. And indirectly, we are exporting a tax to a country outside India. Okay. So ITC, you, how you can claim that? Because now it is going to other taxable territory not to your territory. Well, you will get the credit. See, you are getting credit if you are buying goods from Maharashtra to Maharashtra, to CGST, SGST, you will get credit. Milega. Okay? If you are buying goods from Gujarat and he is putting ITC, IGST and putting place of supply Maharashtra, then only you will get the credit. But now they are not putting Maharashtra. Your supplier is putting other taxable territory. So it will go to Central government, entire tax will go to central government. Not 50% to the Maharashtra. The Maharashtra will not allow you to get, take the credit. So this I have explained various transactions, what uh, kind of different, different transactions happening in the table. So I'm not going into detail. Then uh, now transfer of amount available in electronic credit ledger. So uh, this is good changes they have made and they are, uh, they are saying now section 49.10 saying a registered person may on the common portal transfer any amount of tax, interest, penalty, fees or any other amount available in the electronic credit ledger uh, of under this act to the electronic credit ledger for IGST, CGST, SGST or UTGST. So now that facility under the act they have given. Then integrated tax of uh, central tax of district uh, distinct person as specified in subsection 4 can also be transferred. So after the CGST portion and maybe whether portal is allowing or not, I have not checked, but the law has given that power. Sorry, electronic, cash. electronic cash. Electronic cash. Only cash. Not ITC. But you are expecting too much. <laughs> Then payment of pre-deposit. So under the earlier service tax or excise regime, agar mera kuch bhi appeal karna hai. so you was knowing that 7.5% for first appeal and 10% pre-deposit was there for second appeal. So what 
पीपल यूज टू डू इज दे फाइल द मेक द पेमेंट थ्रू डी आर सी जीरो थ्री सी जी एस टी का पेमेंट करते थे और वो अपील फाइल हो जाती थी ना दे हैव कम आउट विद द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑन ट्वेंटी एट अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी टू एंड दे सेड नो 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 यू कांट पे अंडर सी जी एस टी सो नाउ द प्रोसीजर इज गो टू द जुडिडिक्शनल ऑफिसर ही विल ओपन पेमेंट के लिए ओपन करेगा देन यू मेक द पेमेंट अंडर द सर्विस टैक्स और मे बी अंडर एक्साइज फॉर प्री डिपॉजिट देन दिस अपील विल बी अलाउड So in Bombay we were doing the same. Gujarat and other state were following CGST procedure. Now I came to know that Ahmedabad sister registrar was saying that now all the pre-deposit whatever has been made and whatever file case has been filed, we will if issue a defect memo and recover now tax as per this instruction. So I welcome WIC Chairman C A Murtaja Kachwala. sir i will take only 1 minute to conclude now gst portal has also allowed the transactional credit transactional credit which if you have missed taking in the month in the year 2017 now it has been opened from 1st october 2022 till 30th november if you are any of your client has not taken detail instruction has been issued you can take that benefit so today whatever i discussed was my opinions or views and opinions or views are like rest watches every watch shows different time from others but everyone believes that their time is right once again thanks jivinagar study circle and thanks to all of you for giving me this opportunity thank you thank you members and thank you our first speaker sir manish bhai gariya the way the discussion was going on on the gst today we are sir witnessing the largest gathering sir for the year and thank you very much all the members for joining us for the very large gathering as we had two very two important topics so out of that our first topic was the recent changes in the gst gst is ever live and it is going to be right so manish ji we will be manish ji so we will be needed your support sir being a jabinagar core group member and past convener and past chairman wirc sir gst it is going to be ever green so we will every time whenever we be needed we will invite you and thank you very much now it's a time to propose a formal vote of thank but before we propose our hearty vote of thank today we have with us the very eminent and very hard working and very down to earth person wic chairman sir mutuza kachwala thank you very much sir for accepting our invitation our second session it is on the investor grievance in program it is on the how to become a successful trader in the stock market and to deliberate on this particular topic we have the speaker long way from the gujarat from the kach sir jitu bhai khandor so he is going to enlighten us on a very important topic topics how to earn the money from the stock market so we request all the members to please remain and to attend the second session also so before we announce the break now is the time to formally propose our hearty vote of thank so i would like to invite our deputy convener ca bhuve bagheria ji to uh, propose our hearty vote of thank to our first speaker
very good afternoon to everybody. On behalf of the JP Naga Study Circle, I would like to propose a very hearty vote of thanks to our today's speaker, C. Manish Bhai Kadia. Uh, you have made a very detailed deliberation on the very important topic of recent amendments in GST. In respect of GST, only one thing can be said that the change is the only constant. And to keep a track of all the changes, we are always in need of somebody to explain it to us in a very easy to understand and a practical uh, way of explaining is very uh, appreciated by everybody. And we can just, uh, uh, we know it because of this gathering, we can say that how important the lecture is and how good a speaker you are. Thank you so much for your uh, deliberations today. You've covered all the important amendments, the, the ITC, the, the deadline changes, the uh, other changes in the act and the rules. Thank you so much for your uh, deliberations. Also, I would like to make a few announcements. We have with us today uh, representatives from Odyssey Technology. They are an IT solution company who are providing a solution for the TSC related queries with their product Zorki Sign India G2C. I would request all the members to check out their uh, store outside. Also, Taxman is here with us today and he's offering the books on discount to our members. All interested, may please go and check them with us. Thank you. Now we shall break for breakfast and meet again. Yeah. Our chairman sir is up. But I think uh, he and he's running a little bit short of it. So better if we take his opening remarks on the today's second session. So we will take uh, yes, yes. Request you all to be seated for the next five minutes. So without taking much Thank more you. time, our uh, chairman of stock market committee, our own regional. So now I would like to invite her to take the charge of the next session. Good morning. So uh, I want to thank first of all to our the convener to keep this topic of capital market for us CA. Actually, I am the chairman of Capital Market Committee. And uh, I have to do investor grievance program in the year. Uh, so I uh, talked to our chair, uh, convener, sir, ki, sir, ek do apne JV Nagar mein rakhte hai, why we should not give benefit to our CA member in JV Nagar. And the, at that moment, he agreed and he kept uh, two program in a week. Uh, first, we, have, we did in uh, on Wednesday. It was live trading and it is also uh, taken care by our uh, Ditendra Khandol, sir. And it was super program. If you had missed it, uh, we had that. Yeah, we, we can cover, but that was not that should not be a light trading because in light for light trading we can do in uh, working day only. Uh, that's why we kept on Wednesday uh, that program. But uh, this uh, today also, वो जो tips उन्होंने उस दिन छोड़ दी थी. वो सारी tips आज देने वाले हैं. उस दिन खाली वो light trading का हमें पूरा वो screen और वो कैसे करना है ये सब समझा रहे थे. But unke 26 tips hai, jo wo aaj dene wale hai, how to become a good trader. So, uske pehle, our chairman ne bhi, aap logo ko pata, the World Congress of Accountants ka program, jo 18 to 21 number hai. And he was so busy. Aap samaj sakte ho, jab bhi humare ghar mein saadhe chhe hajar loog aa rahe hai, to hum kitne busy rahenge. But it's busy schedule में उन्होंने यहाँ आके time निकाला हमें वो वो थोड़ा हम यंत्र से बात करने के लिए so many thanks मुतुजा sir we welcome you in our Devinagar study circle and I want to request you to say some few words for our member sir please thank you sir Good morning to everyone. It is refreshing to see so many people in a room. I was worried when I came inside. I thought chair in here till I went to the dais there and I sat there. Thank you for such uh, good presence. And I'm sure I agree with Purvi that when the speaker is like Manish Gadia, I am sure the hall is going to be full. So first, let me thank the convener Jayesh Bhai and Purvi 
and all the past conveners of JV Nagar, including Pinky Kedia, for uh, agreeing to our request and organizing this investor awareness program. Extremely grateful to all of you, Jayesh Bhai, and thank you. He is always available. Whatever you say, he says yes, sir. And I have not seen a convener like him really. So thank you very much. The type of support is given. Anyone who called up from anywhere, be it Ajmer, Anwar, or whatever South, I just send the number to him and say, "Yes, someone is looking for a hotel accommodation in Andheri." And he says, "Okay, sir." And he calls that person up and he arranges the hotel accommodation. Or with EBs and lamentary and all of those which he is tied up here. So like uh, we got, like Pinky was mentioning. in the world congress of accountants which is starting on 18th we have from 103 countries 1833 people international delegates and total number of people who will be physically present will be 6500 huge massive we don't even have a single seat physical is closed but i would request if anyone is interested please attend virtually also i think it will be a treat to listen to so many people the theme is enabling sustainability in building trust and which means we all should be again taking note of it the sustainability is taking importance globally and although in india also we've been reporting only on profits till date i think the world is talking about 3p reporting first is planet second is people and third is profit they say if the planet is not there how will people survive and if people are not there what do you do with profit paise ka kya karenge na kabhi jaane nahi bachegi to right and now i'm sure we as a country is also started in the direction and many of you would be doing audits of listed companies top 1000 listed companies in india on 31st march 23 they will have to report on business management reporting and sustainability reporting okay so they will have to report on all the sustainability standards there are 100 line items and the type of things which you going to report is how many units of electricity consumed across your various units or organization okay how many have you generated through renewable sources similarly on consumption of water okay then like if you are releasing any chemicals that how many accidents or incidents have happened on your shop floor how many like women on your shop floor and how many women in your board so like it covers the governance neutrality environment and various aspects of it and not thing in that report comes from the trial balance or the financial accounts does not nothing comes from tally and the cfo of this company are now scratching their head to generate those records and registers some people are coming up with electronic databases and record registers these thousand companies will be audited again by chartered accountant and 5 years from now each and every possibly a private limited company we will have to report on that as well ICAI has come up with 16 sustainability standards a standard on eradication of poverty eradication of hunger xyz ngos and npos non profit organizations will have to adopt these standards in this country now as social auditors will have to audit whether they adopted the standard properly or not and we will be the social auditors and then these ngos npos will be able to list themselves on a platform and only if you are listed on that platform then you will get huge funding from the likes of gates corporation otherwise chota mota funding leke apna kaam karte ho so international recognition chahiye so you have to register so again the sustainability standards first time in the world i am given to understand by icai so really good work is being done forensic standards came out last year by icai india is possibly the first country to even come up with a social stock exchange and bombay stock exchange ne ek subsidiary banaya hai bsc samman limited and possibly organizations will have to list on the social stock exchange also going forward so sustainability is an area where we can practice which you think about read and try to see whether we have interest and whether we want to practice there that is number 1 number 2 let me talk about the trust which of course you will hear from international speakers as well but i think internationally people want that the financial statements which we sign the stakeholders should have trust and which means again we as chartered accountants or auditors will have to go back to a basic the sa standard on auditing from engagement letter to representation letter to taking the sampling putting the documentation keeping the evidences and ensuring that we do a right quality work but also we have to comply with the accounting standards and and the ethical standards but 
one last thing before i stop i know like we are all waiting to go for the breakfast so uh, one is technology and at wirc we are putting in lot of efforts to lot of work on the technology front as well and uh, although there are some aspects of it are covered in the new ca curriculum currently also and in the revised also it will be covered and the next generation learns it but we have done during this year lot of courses on like tally features of tally there are so many features which you don't use the likes of r sql the likes of power bi power query and tableau and there are multiple of them so there are these 3 hours 6 hours thing which keeps on happening but we have also planned longer duration courses part 1 we are really teaching coding in python language on sql database 60 hours saturday evening sunday morning ghar mein baith ke kar sakte virtual hai only 9000 rupees is the fees 30 ka hi batch hota hai so that properly it can be trained and you can go back and start doing coding in your office for gst reconciliation tds reconciliation depreciation calculation xyz okay practically you can do it चार बैचेस थर्टी के हो गए पांचवा बैच चालू है मनीष भाई की चेयरमैनशिप में ये चालू हुआ था प्रोग्राम वी हैव स्टार्टेड पार्ट टू आल्सो वेयर वी आर टीचिंग डेटा एनालिटिक्स यूजिंग पावर बीआई पावर क्वेरी एंड प्रेजेंटेशन यूजिंग टैब्लू पच्चीस पच्चीस की बैचेस होते हैं उधर भी चार बैचेस हो गई है वी फिफ्थ वन इज गोइंग ऑन लॉट मोर विल कम ओनली सिक्स इज अ फीस फॉर फोर्टी आवर्स दिस हंड्रेड एंड Uh, 100 hours course essentially would be more than our 1 lakh rupees outside we are doing it for 15000 for our members and consolidated fees 8000 for our students also in case your articles or your students want to do it the third thing is every organization globally is talking about now automation and i feel ke 5 saal baad apni kisi ke bhi office mein india mein परचेज बिल की एंट्री हम लोग नहीं करेंगे अभी सेल बिल क्लाइंट बना था तो ऑटोमेटिक सेल की एंट्री हो जाती डेटस में चला जाता है बैंक रिको अभी भी हम लोग फिजिकली करते हैं बट नाउ आरपीए बोर्ड्स डज द बैंक रिकंसिलेशन इन लास्ट शेयर सर्विस सेंटर्स इन इंडिया वोडाफोन डज ग्लोबल अकाउंटिंग इन पुणे एंड अहमदाबाद बैंक रिको आर डन बाय द बोर्ड्स अडानी डज ग्लोबल अकाउंटिंग इन अहमदाबाद इन शांतिग्राम ग्लोबल बैंक रिकंसिलेशंस आर डन बाय बोर्ड्स आरपीए रोबोटिक प्रोसेस ऑटोमेशन automation anywhere or ui path tally is also doing research on that aapka client bill scan karega purchase bill automatic entry ho jayegi aapko khali karna padega item code vendor code aur customer codes create karne padenge to so, shayad ho sakta hai tally mein accounting nahi hoga to accounting ka revenue gaya right har saal tax audit ka limit badh raha hai to tax audit ki bhi revenue kam hone lagegi aur jo hisab se abhi government automate kar raha hai aur there are auto populated returns and information is coming possibly people may not come to our office for filing income tax returns as well so friends i think this is a right time the future if we stick on to our routine practice is going to be difficult we'll have to start adopting technology become more efficient there are lots of new avenues okay abhi wapas india mein startup ka zamana chalu ho gaya why don't we work with startups and we can help them in their whole journey writing policy procedure erm getting private placement getting the venture capital fund and pe fund helping them in listing on the msme or the stock exchanges and i can keep on going and talking on on the opportunities but let me keep it for some other day i can do a one and a half hour session on that but there are enough and more opportunities outside the traditional area we we'll have to start thinking but i only feel that everywhere we we'll have to start adopting technology keeping our eyes and ears open and looking at doing newer things where we can do it in an efficient and effective way and i think one of those areas today is the capital market and i call him the big bear or the bull of the stock market jitendra khandol the huge amount of money that he invests himself and for his family and and i don't think he practices now so he makes lot of wealth okay ca ke practice mein wealth banana mushkil hai lekin share market mein trading karke wealth ban sakta hai और वो बाकी वाला इंग्लिश वाला टिप हमको नहीं चाहिए जो पिंकी मैडम ने बोला वो सोलह कंपनीज का नाम चाहिए ताकि हम वो कंपनीज में इन्वेस्ट करके हम भी थोड़ा सा पैसा बनाए जीतू भाई 
ठीक है तो ये इंग्लिश में बड़ा बड़ा बात करके जाएगा प्रमोटर देखना फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट देखना उसको लास्ट में पूछ लेने के भाई अभी तुम नाम दे रहे हो कि नहीं दे रहे हो बिकॉज बहुत पैसा इसने बनाया तो विद दैट थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू जयेश भाई एंड वंस अगेन दिल से थैंक यू फ्रॉम डब्ल्यू आई आर सी फॉर हेल्पिंग आस बिकॉज टू एंड हाफ मंथ वी है लॉकडाउन एनफोर्स आईसीआई बिकॉज ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड कांग्रेस ऑफ अकाउंटेंट इन आर मार्किंग क्राइटेरिया देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स विच आर पेंडिंग and there were two investor awareness program which he helped us in doing jointly so also wrc jointly but ultimately the work is done by jp nagar so thank you very much thanks a lot <laughs>